They say don't judge a book by its cover and this is the same for succulents and cacti. They may look rough and spiky but they produce some of the most beautiful flowers you'll ever see. And over the years I've picked up a number of growing tips which I'm going to share with you now. Almost all varieties love to grow in a warm, sunny position in the garden. Leaving them to grow in heavy shade is sadly no good and can result in limp growth. So the more sun, the better and healthier the plant will be. When you're choosing succulents and cacti, look for the ones with really good coloring, strong stems, and are well rooted into their pots, so not wobbly, because this way you're starting off with a really good plant. Even though these plants look rough, they have a soft spot as they love to be cared for. They will require watering in their peak growing season, spring and summer, but not every day. Do the good old finger test to see if they need any water. In my garden, I grow my plants in pots purely due to my climate and because it's easier to look after them. And when you're growing these plants, it's important to get the soil right. So what I like to do is put a layer of horticultural charcoal at the base, and then I use my go-to mix, which is this one here. This is a free draining mix with added coarse grit, which is ideal as it helps in preventing the soil from becoming too wet, which means no root rot. It also has boosted calcium, which helps with nutrient uptake, and potassium, which encourages steady growth and pest and disease resistance. When it comes to fertilising, there's a few ways you can go about it, but make sure you use a specialist feed just for your cacti and succulents. And the Scott's Osmocote is a great range and you can pick up almost anything to suit. And their slow release fertiliser will feed for about six months and it's activated by soil temperature. So you know your plants are getting all those nutrients as they're actively growing. For liquid fertilisers, the pour and feed is perfect. There is hardly any odour, it's non-staining and it's very easy to apply. Every few months I go around the garden with some tweezers and just weed the pots carefully, that way I don't get pricked in the process. And hopefully you can take some of these tips and tricks and apply them to your own plants and enjoy your own beautiful collection.